back to beyoungministry.blogspot.com. I trust uh, you've had a great Christmas and you're looking forward to a new, a great new year. Today we continue in our, in our study of the gospel according to John. We're in chapter 16 verses 12 through 15, which reads, I have much to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. This is why I said, the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. That's John chapter 16, verses 12 through 15. You perhaps hear the helicopter going over our spatial uh, studios on Bristlecone Lane. The Lord Jesus continues to teach his disciples on the heels of of uh, moving toward his crucifixion. <clears throat> In verse 12, he said to them, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. After his resurrection, the Lord Jesus sent his Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, and he would then take over the responsibility to each teach every believer until the Lord Jesus returns at the rapture. The Holy Spirit teaches us. Of course, this teaching would result in the canonization of the New Testament, the uh, 27 books that we call the New Testament, beginning with Matthew and ending with the Revelation. This is why the Lord Jesus says in verse 13, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. The Lord Jesus wanted to tell his disciples more than what they could uh, handle. And as a result, the Spirit will be given them to teach them what the Lord Jesus wants to tell them when they're able to hear it. This is one of the many roles of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer, to teach us the truth. The Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin, but not the believer. Billy Graham once said, it is the Holy Spirit's job to convict, God's job to judge, and my job to love. I like that quote. It kind of sums it up, doesn't it? The Holy Spirit does not convict the believer of sin because the sin of the believer has been absorbed by the Lord Jesus himself while he hung on that cross. In fact, in Psalm 103, verse 12, we are informed that as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. The east never ends. If we're going east, now, if we were going north, we'd eventually start going south. But with the east and the west, there's no ending. If we went west, we would continue going west. This is why God says this in Psalm 103, verse 12. Nowhere does the New Testament leak conviction of the sin of the believer with the Holy Spirit. The conviction of the Holy Spirit is for the world, not believers. The Spirit leads believers to see the truth, but it has nothing to do with conviction in the sense of judgment and guilt. God sees the believer through the lens of his perfect Son, who has shared his standing before God with the believer. According to verse 13, the Holy Spirit will not speak on his own initiative. Instead, he speaks what he hears, and then he speaks. The Lord Jesus ends verse 13 with, He will tell you what is yet to come. 
from the standpoint of eternity, everything in time happens in the instantaneous now. Therefore, God knows the outcome already, and he has not made anyone make one decision. Since he knows all that is yet to come, he can say he will tell you what is yet to come. As explained in verse 14, the truth that the Holy Spirit hears and teaches has as its purpose the glorification of Christ. The Spirit leads us into all the truth by showing us all of who the Lord Jesus is. As a rule of thumb, I always measure a local church by how much the Lord Jesus is lifted up. If the Spirit is more prominent, beware because the Holy Spirit lives to point us, in fact all, to the Lord Jesus, not to himself. In verse 15, the Lord Jesus says, All that belongs to the Father is mine. Speaking of how he is uniquely related to the Father, when the Holy Spirit glorifies the Lord Jesus, he shows the Lord Jesus to be uniquely related to the Father. He shows him to be the Father's beloved Son and the only way to the Father. What follows, once again, are the words the Holy Spirit hears and reveals to the believer. In verse 14, the Spirit's purpose is to glorify the Lord Jesus. In verse 15, the Spirit's purpose is to demonstrate the Lord Jesus' unique relationship with the Father. The Spirit glorifies the Lord Jesus by showing him to be uniquely related to the Father to be the only way to the Father. Thus, the Spirit leads the believer. When we think of the Spirit's leading, or when we ask for His leading, it often concerns circumstantial leading. We speak of the Spirit's leading leading us to particular people, places, or conclusions. And certainly, this kind of leading is within the sphere of the Spirit's ministry. He reveals us to us primarily the Lord Jesus. This is his primary goal. He leads us into a deeper and more intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus. We ask for guidance, and the Spirit shows us the Lord Jesus. This is the most important guidance we can receive. The Holy Spirit leads us right into the depths of deeper relationship with the Lord Jesus. You see, that is pivotal for everything, for our protection, for our provision. Everything comes back to that one pivotal spot, our personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. If we are beginning and ending each day at the feet of this one who is deserving of our worship, we don't have to worry about our provision or our protection. Even in the context of his circumstantial leading, when the Holy Spirit leads us to people, places, or conclusions, he leads us to the Lord Jesus. When we face difficult decisions and we pray for guidance, he leads us to deeper fellowship with the Lord Jesus. And when we See how the Spirit has led us circumstantially. We, we rejoice not so much over the circumstance, but for the chance to see once again that God has been faithful and is faithful and will be faithful through His Son, the Lord Jesus. Having the Holy Spirit within is a tremendous advantage for the believer. As we testify to the world about the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, convicts them of their guilt and offers the gift of redemption, taking the pressure off us to be persuasive, eloquent, and convincing. In fact, I have never led anyone to faith in the Lord Jesus. What I like to say is I witnessed them leaving the darkness and coming into the light. You see, I've never done, I've never led anybody to the Lord Jesus because that's the Holy Spirit's job. He did it with us, and he'll do it with them. My friends, I trust this podcast and blog are helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. This is why we do it. 
if you have any further questions or uh, you just would like to have a conversation about what we've talked about, send me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great